So, children, let us continue uh, our lesson explanation. So, moving towards page number 83, first para. Now, many more advanced techniques are used in the two in this speciality to deal with the heart complications. So, now being the first after the first surgery, uh, uh, there was advancement in technology and now uh, many more uh, complicated heart surgeries are now performed such as open heart surgery, bypass, then um, uh, surgeries to uh, repair heart defects or heart walls etc or even place them, replace them. Uh, such uh, operations are now performed with the advancement in technology. With proper measures, patients can recover from cardiac surgery faster than they did before. So, this is the boom uh, of advanced technology that we can save a patient's life and he can recover also and the surgeries are also faster than they did were before. Okay. So, now uh, after learning the advancement in uh, advancement of technology in the field of cardiac surgery, now let us look at neurosurgery. Now, what is neurosurgery? Neurosurgery is another special recent speciality to have received recognition since the early 1900s. It is concerned with the treatment of disorders of the nervous system. Now, children, you can imagine nervous system is such important uh, system which has overall control of our body. So, nervous system itself being so complicated, uh, surgeries related to nervous system are also very complicated, intricate and and they are also involve risk uh, and threat to life. So, uh, neurosurgeons operate on the brain. Uh, this stream of neurosurgery. So, the neurosurgeons operate on the brain, the spine, or the nerves. They can treat patients of all ages from newborn to the elderly who have suffered a stroke. So, now with the advancement of technology in this field also in neurosurgery, now surgeons, neurosurgeons can operate on brain, spine or nerves and they can treat patients of all ages uh, right from newborn to elderly and who have suffered a stroke. Now, what is a stroke? Uh, a stroke is a medical emergency and it, it requires a prompt treatment. Uh, children, it is a, a stroke appears when the blood supply to part of your brain is interrupted. So, it uh, involves prompt treatment and early action can reduce the brain damage and uh, other complications. So, a strokes, uh, stroke uh, had a uh, risk factor, uh, high risk factor and with the advancement in neurosurgery, uh, now doctors, neurosurgeons can perform uh, and treat patients of all ages. So, let us uh, learn uh, in the next uh, slide. Harvey Cushing 1869 to 1939 is considered to be the father uh, of modern neurological surgery. In the early part of the 20th century, he developed basic techniques and instruments for operating on the brain as a distinct surgical specialty. Cushing dramatically reduced the mortality rate for neurosurgery from 90 percent to less than 10 percent. By the time of his retirement in 1937, he had successfully removed more than 2,000 tumors. Now, children, uh, Harvey Cushing is considered to be the father of neurological surgery, which means he had taken bold and daring steps to perform uh, surgery on nervous system. And in the early part of 20th century, you know, he developed basic techniques and instruments for operating on the brain as a distinct 
surgical speciality so children uh, as i told you in the uh, uh, earlier uh, uh, in the previous video that uh, we need proper tools and uh, uh, techniques also for to perform a successful surgery a complicated but successful surgery and yet also save a person's life so have a cushing uh developed such basic techniques uh to perform or to, or to operate on brain okay so cushing dramatically reduced the mortality rate what is the mortality rate mortality rate the death rate especially on a large scale so in uh, while performing uh, neurosurgery the death rate was very high but cushing uh, was successful in reducing this rate from 90% to 10% means uh, it was obvious that uh, uh, previously before cushing performed previously it was sure that 90% of the patients would lose their life while uh, getting operated in such uh, uh, operations on nervous system but uh, with advancement in technology and acquiring a certain skill he uh, dramatically reduced the mortality rate from 90% to less than 10% this is very very uh, great achievement by the time of his retirement in 1937 he had successfully removed more than 2000 tumors children it is a great great figure to operate on 2000 patients and remove 2000 tumors successfully let us move and see what is what comes next so children the main reason that mortality rates uh, had been so high before was blood loss among cushing's significant achievements are the methods he developed to stem this blood loss by inventing a clip called silver clip or cushing clip thus neurosurgery is one of the most cutting edges in the world of surgery and medicine so what did he do uh, how is he remembered uh, uh, and how did he uh, get down to that mortality rate uh, this he could do be, uh, to uh, because he could avoid blood loss children in during surgeries there had to be lot of blood loss and patients would die uh, due to this uh, blood loss okay so cushing uh, what was his significant or uh, important achievements uh, is the methods he developed to stem this blood what is stem to control this blood loss by inventing a clip called silver clip or cushing clip so this clip uh, Uh, avoided uh, extra blood loss helped in reducing extra blood loss so this silver clip uh, was later known well known as cushing clip so the neurosurgery is one of the most cutting edges in the world of surgery and medicine what do you mean by cutting edges cutting edges means latest development so this is the latest development uh, which uh, which proves how advanced our technology is now to and how we have gained control over such complications and reduced mortality rate so children uh we'll stop here and we'll learn in the next uh, uh video about uh, robotic surgery